Hello students, more is here. In the previous lecture, we discussed the examples based on logical connectivity. Now, today we are going to see next example. Today we are going to see next example. Example. Suppose if if P and Q are true, P and Q are true, and R and yes are false. R false. R false. Next example is what? If P and Q are true and R and yes are false, then find the truth value of the following statement of the following compound statement. Statement on P implies Q. P implies Q. Here join with R meet yes. Yeah. Question what? If P and Q are true and R and S are false, then find the truth value of the following symbolic statement or compound statement. Statement what? P implies Q join with R and S. We have to find the truth value of that statement. We have to find the truth value of that statement. Now, solution here, P and Q are true, therefore, the truth value of P and Q is what? T. Similarly, R and S, what? False, therefore, truth value of R and S, what? Yep. Therefore, P and Q, its value will substitute here. T and R and S, its value will substitute here. Yep. And then, we can just use the truth table for logical connectivities and then we get the required truth value of that statement. Now, in solution what? In solution, solution here, solution here, P and Q, P and Q are true, P and Q are true, therefore, 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 the truth value, therefore, the truth value, therefore, the truth value of, truth value of P and Q is what? T. Similarly, also, 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 R and yes are false. R false. R false. Therefore, therefore, the truth value. Therefore, the truth value. Truth value of R and yes is F. Is F. Again, I will give one more P and Q are true statement, therefore its truth value is T. Also, R and S are false, therefore its truth value is F. Now, to verify or to find, next or not, to find the truth value of, truth value find out the next, to find, to find the truth value, the truth value of P implies Q join with R meet yes. Truth value find out correct like Therefore, consider directly we consider this statement. Therefore, next line. Therefore, consider consider this statement. What P implies Q join with R meet yes. Now, which is equal to now which is equivalent to or equal to here we know that the truth value of p and q is t therefore next one here p implies t this is join with join with here we know that the truth value of r and s what f f therefore f meet with here f now which is equivalent to in the conditional statement if First substatement is true and second substatement is false. Then conditional statement is false. Otherwise it is true. Therefore in the T, T, therefore this statement is T. And they are the joint. And in conjunction, we know that in conjunction if both the substatements are true, then the conjunction is true. Otherwise it is false. Those substatements are true or still T or still third conjunction T. Otherwise it is false. It is false. Therefore here we get it is false. Now, in disjunction, you know that in disjunction, if both the substatements, both the substatements are false, then the disjunction is false. Otherwise, it is true. Here, otherwise, therefore, we write that 
T. We get T. Therefore, this is what it is the truth value of statements P implies Q joined with R with S. Yes. This is what truth value of that. Question what? Question ka hota? If P and Q are true and R and S yes are false, then find the truth value of the following statement. Statement kon dekhi hota? P implies Q joined with R with S. Yes. Ya yeah, statement ki truth value find out kara jodi. Therefore, in solution what? Here P and Q are true. Therefore, the truth value of P and Q is T. Also, R and S are false statements. Therefore, the truth value of R and S is F. Now, to find the truth, next line what? To find the truth value of that statement, P implies Q joined with R and S. Therefore, as yeah, the truth value find out, therefore, I will consider a statement again. Therefore, consider P implies Q joined with R and S. Now, which is equivalent to or which is equal to here, we know that the truth value of P and Q is what? T, therefore, we write here T implies T. Join with also it is given that the truth value of R and S what? False, therefore, we write here F, F. Now, which is next line, which is equivalent to in conditional statement. We know that in conditional statement, if first substatement is true and second substatement is false, then the conditional statement is false, otherwise, it is true. There will be the order wise condition and there will be can write its truth value is P. Here this symbol join then in conjunction. In conjunction we know that, we know that if both the substatements are true. If in conjunction both the substatements are true then the conjunction is true otherwise it is false. Which is the other condition therefore here you have. Now here T join with F. Now in disjunction this symbol what? Disjunction. Now, if disjunction, we know that if both these substatements are false, then disjunction is false. Otherwise, it is true. Therefore, this otherwise condition. Therefore, this value is t, and this what this this is which is the required truth value of a statement p implies q joined with r with s. Therefore, next line again. Therefore, the truth value of a statement p implies q joined with r with s is t is t, which is our required answer. Now, next example. Now, let us take next example. Next example. If, if P statements denote P swim, P swim, and Q statement denote water is warm, water is warm. Then question what? If P denote he swims and Q denote water is warm, then or then give the verbal statement of the following symbolic statement of the following symbolic statement. First one is P if and only if negation of Q. And second one is second one is Q implies P. Q implies P. Question kaya hota? If P is the statement that he swims and Q is the statement that water is warm. Then give the verbal statement of the following symbolic statement. It means symbolic statement will be P if and only negation of Q and second word is Q implies P. What is this? Yes, symbolic form. Yes, symbolic form over on the statement, verbal statement. What is the value of P? P value is 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 P Then we know that this symbol what? If and only. Therefore, in solution. Therefore, in solution. Solution what? In solution first. This first. What have P if and only if negation of Q. Statement I will direct you. If and only if negation of Q. P statement what he swim he swim this what if and only if if and only if here negation of Q means statement Q the negation is like negation of Q means negation of Q I know water is warm then it's negation water is not warm if and only if water is not warm water is not warm which is the required verbal form of a given symbolic statement that you call verbal form. What is the case? P if and only if negation of Q. High sentence. P if and only if negation of Q. 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 P if and only if negation of
दिस वॉट इफ आई डोट लिव जस्ट टेक द निगेशन ऑफ क्यू क्यू वॉट वॉटर इज वॉर्म देर निगेशन ऑफ क्यू वॉट वॉटर इज नॉट वॉर्म वॉटर इज नॉट वॉर्म विच इज द रिक्वायर्ड वर्बल स्टेटमेंट नाउ नेक्स्ट वॉट सेकंड सेकंड क्यू इम्प्लाइज पी क्यू इम्प्लाइज पी क्यू इम्प्लाइज पी सेकंड स्टेटमेंट वॉटर क्यू इम्प्लाइज पी दिस वॉट इफ देन इफ देन मेज का क्यू इम्प्लाइज पी स्टेटमेंट का इफ He swim. If he swim, then water is warm. Then water is warm. Water is warm. Which is the required verbal statement of a given symbolic statement. Second word, Q implies P. This symbol word. If then, therefore we write its conditional statement of that two statements. Conditional statement. This word, conditional statement of these two statements. It means. If he swim, then water is warm, which is the required verbal statement of a given symbolic statement. Symbolic statement. Now, next point. Our next point. Now take our next point. Next point is quantifiers and quantified statements. Quantifiers and quantified statements. First upon quantifiers. These are the two quantifiers that we call for all. These symbols do not for all, and that symbol do not they exist. And these two symbols is called quantifiers. Quantifiers. We use these two symbols to write a statement in mathematical form. Mathematical form. There are two quantifiers. First one is for all. Second one is they exist. This for all they exist. Now. we use these two symbols to convert a sentence in mathematical form for example suppose if x or for example for every for every x belongs to real number x belongs to real number such that such that such that x square is non negative x square is non negative non negative x square is non negative here this this is statement or this any sentence simple statement sentence for every x belongs to real number such that x square is non negative now we can write this sentence in mathematical form with the help of quantifier for all For all x belongs to the real number such that such that x square is non-negative. X square is greater or equal to zero. It means non-negative. Greater or equal to zero means that it is non-negative. This sentence we can write this sentence in mathematical form with the help of quantifier for all. For every x belongs to real number, it means for all x belongs to real number. Such that, such that x square is non-negative. X square greater or equal zero, it means x square is non-negative. Is here we use the quantifier for all. The next another is we take for x belongs to natural number. For x belongs to natural number, such that, such that x plus Four, which is equal to seven. X plus four, which is equal to seven. This is also a sentence. Now we can write this sentence with the help of quantifier. There exists in mathematical form as. So this is what our x belongs to natural number such that x plus four equal to seven. Means what? X as a natural number is that it equal to seven. Now, brother. Means that there is only one natural number three. Three belongs to natural number. If you put x equal to three, then this equation satisfied. Three so don't do. So what are the natural numbers? It is something like that. The equation satisfied. Hold on. I mean, just guy. There are infinite natural number. Among that, only one natural number satisfies this. For that, we use the symbol or we use the quantifier. There is. There exists x belongs to the natural number such that such that such that x plus four which is equal to This is what mathematical form we use here. The quantifier there exists. It means there are only, therefore there are only two quantifiers. First one is for all, 
for all. First one is for all, and second one is their existence. These are only two quantifiers in mathematics. Now, next definition is quantified statement. Next definition is quantified statement. Definition क्या होती होगा? Next one is quantified statement. An open sentence. An open sentence with quantifiers. An open sentence with quantifiers becomes a statement. Becomes a statement, and that statement is called quantified statement. That statement is called quantified statement. Definition: What is an open sentence with quantifiers becomes a statement, and that statement is called quantified statement. Quantified statement. Apply me that. Open sentence statement is not. Open sentence is not a statement, but open sentence with quantifiers for all and their existence becomes a statement and that statement is called quantified statements for example if x plus 4 which is equal to 7 here i take x belongs to the natural number x belongs to the natural number hmm. x belongs to the natural number it is an open sentence this open sentence it is not a statement a statement hot nahi it is only open sentence but Quantified statement definition क्या होती है? An open sentence with quantifiers becomes a statement, and then that statement is called quantified statement. Here, this open sentence. Now, if we use in that sentence, it is a open sentence. Now, if we use in that state sentence any among these two, any one quantifier, then it becomes a statement, and that statement we will call quantified statement. Now here. X plus four, which is equal to seven, and X belongs to the natural number. It is sentence. Now, X is equal to what? The natural number. Then the satisfied will X equal to if we take three, then this given equation satisfied. For example, three plus four, which is equal to seven, then this equation satisfied. मुझे x से equal to three असे तर से satisfied होते हैं x plus four which is equal to seven x plus four which is equal to seven therefore we can write this sentence in form x belongs to the natural number or there exist there exist x belongs to natural number such that such that x plus four which is equal to seven it become a statement it becomes a statement and that statement we will call quantified statement ठीक है x belongs to natural number x plus 4 which is equal to 7 it is a simple open open sentence now in that open sentence we use the quantifier there exist there exist x belongs to natural number such that x plus 4 which is equal to 7 then it become a statement and that statement is called quantified statement that statement is called quantified statement मुझे simple quantified statement definition क्या होती an open sentence with quantifiers becomes a statement and that statement is called quantified statements quantified statements now take examples in exercise 1.5 or 1.6 example or first example first example use or first example if i take x square plus 3x minus 10 which is equal to 0 Question what? Use quantifiers. Use quantifiers. Use quantifiers to convert a following open sentence defined on a natural number. This sentence defined on natural number. On natural number. Here, yeah. question what? Use quantifiers to convert the following open sentence defined on natural number into a true statement into a true statement means kya hai ye open sentence sorry hai open sentence hai ye define kasha varti kele set of natural number varti hai open sentence aplyala convert kara jaye quantified statement or true statement with the help of quantifiers simple now it is open sentence it is open sentence solution madhe ka vel here Solution x square plus 3x here here x square plus 3x minus 10 which is equal to 0 and this statement defined on the natural number n on natural number n it is open sentence 
वे हाउ टू कन्वर्ट दिस सेंटेंस इन ट्रू स्टेटमेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्वांटिफायर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्वांटिफायर्स देयर आर टू क्वांटिफायर्स वी नो दैट फॉर आर एंड देयर इज फॉर आर एंड देयर इज नाउ हे जे इक्वेशन आहे डिफाइन कशावरती केले सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर वरती म्हणजे काय x असा नेचुरल नंबर घ्यायचा को तो इक्वेशन सॅटिस्फाय केली पाहिजे म्हणजे इक्वल टू 0 सपोज इफ वी टेक x 2 2 इज नेचुरल नंबर इफ वी टेक x 2 2 2 का व्हॅल्यू 2 स्क्वेअर 3 2 10 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू व्हॉट इज नाउ 2 स्क्वेअर व्हॉट 4 3 2 व्हॉट 6 10 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू व्हॉट इज 0 quantifier there exist it means next line therefore there exist or if you write therefore there exist x belongs to the natural number there exist x belongs to the natural number such that such that x square minus 3x sorry x square plus 3x minus 10 which is equal to 0 it is a true statement it is it is a true statement it is a true statement it is a true statement why true reason khali do since since x equal to 2 belongs to the natural number satisfies this equation x equal to 2 belongs to the natural number satisfies satisfies the equation satisfies the equation for the equation satisfies the equation x square plus 3x minus 10 which is equal to 0 which is the required answer of that question question ko ata use quantifiers to convert the following open sentence defined on a natural number n into a true statement theek hai here solution madhe kay jala here given x square plus 3x minus 10 which is equal to 0 defined on natural number means natural number as a natural number gets the equation satisfied gele pahije means there is only there exist only x belongs to natural number such that x square plus 3x minus 10 which is equal to 0 it is a true statement a true statement that therefore since cut row the since x equal to 2 ha natural number the equation satisfied karto theek hai which is required answer Pega la